Hello dear students, welcome to Royson Creations YouTube channel. In this video, let us analyze science model question paper 2022-23 released by KSEAB. So already I have explained the physics part. So in this video, I am going to explain chemistry part that means part B. So those who are not subscribed my channel, please subscribe and share with your friends. So part B chemistry four alternatives sixth main four alternatives are given for each of the following statements or incomplete statements choose the correct alternative and write the complete answer along with its letter of alphabet so here also three questions each questions carry one marks 14th question the chemical reactions that represents neutralization reaction among the following so here four options are there so you observe four options they are asked what which reaction is going to represent neutralization so you can see the option a sodium hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid gives to sodium chloride plus water so this is the neutralization reaction so among four option option a is the right answer 15th question properties of elements are periodic functions of their atomic number this law was proposed by dobrina mendeleev newlands and henry mostly so this is the modern periodic law statement so it is given by henry mostly so the answer is option d henry mostly 16th question the substance that converts red litmus paper into the blue litmus paper Option A, KOH solution, distilled water, dilute solution of HCl and connected concentrated solution of HNO3. So, they are asking what red litmus paper turns to blue. So, red going to turn blue means that is 100% base only. So, in the four option, KOH, potassium hydroxide is the base. So, the option A is the KOH potassium hydroxide because it is the base so one thing children here i have given in the bracket that is abrb abrb means what acid turns blue paper to that means blue litmus paper to red litmus so base turns red litmus to blue vice versa okay na so just you remember this it will be useful for your exam also when to main answer the following questions three into one so three marks 17 question mention the number of single bonds and double bonds present in the structure of c2h2 coh molecule so here i have given the structure so by seeing this structure easily you are going to identify how many single bonds and how many double bonds so here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 single bonds are there only one double bond is there 18th question write the electron dot structure of methane so methane they asked so here one carbon bond is there and four hydrogen bonds are there so this is the electron dot structure it's very important children even i have given in the passing package also so practice the next one is draw the diagram of the arrangement of apparatus to show electrolysis of water so this is the diagram they are not asked any labeling so just you have to draw the diagram that's enough next eighth main answer the following questions three into two six marks 20th question calcium oxide reacts with water to form slaked lime what type of chemical reaction is this write the balanced chemical equation for this reaction so this is combination reaction or you can say exothermic reaction so they asked you two also calcium oxides is react with the water when it react with the water it form a slacked lime so namge lime water na needutte so that chemical reaction is a combination reaction and along with that it is one of the exothermic reaction because it going to liberate heat so which are reactions are liberate heat that is called as a exothermic reaction so here they asked balanced equation also so calcium oxide plus h2o gives to calcium hydroxide caoh twice plus heat so this is the balanced equation 21st question what is the chemical name of bleaching powder write any two uses of it 
the chemical name of bleaching powder is calcium chloride calcium oxychloride cao cl the uses of bleaching powder is for bleaching cotton and linen in the textile industry for bleaching wood pulp in paper factories and for bleaching washed clothes in laundry second one as an oxidizing agent in many chemical industry and third one is to make drinking water free from germs so these are also uses of bleaching powder here the two options are there what is concentrated acid name the acid present in the stinging air of the nettle leaves so concentrated acid means acid with more concentration of h plus and h3o plus ions per unit volume that is we call concentrated acid acid present in the stinging air of the nettle leaves is methanoic acid 22nd question give reason first one ionic compounds have high melting point and boiling points ionic compounds have high melting points because a considerable amount of energy is required to break the strong inter ionic attraction so it having high melting and boiling point ionic compounds in solid state do not conduct electricity why because movement of ions in the solid is not possible due to their rigid structure or strong force of attraction between the positive and negative ions ninth main answer the following questions 3 into 3 equal to 9 mark 23rd question draw the diagram of the arrangement of apparatus to show the action of steam on metals so metal piece and uh, uh, delivery tube they are asked to mark so here this is the figure and i have marked the metallic uh, pieces and delivery tube so 24th question the electronic configuration of your four elements are given in the below table write the elements in the increasing order of their electropositivity and uh, give reason so here they have given sodium sulfur and aluminum and potassium so here electronic configuration they have given so by seeing the table easily you can understand which is having high electropositivity and which is having less positivity because in the periodic table we know that along the period the electropositivity is decreasing but along the group is it is going on increasing so sulfur then less than uh, sulfur aluminum sodium and potassium so this is the order here i have given the explanation so you can write it and you can learn the next one is 25th question silver chloride exposed to the sunlight turns gray color why write the balanced chemical equation for this reaction and mention the type of reaction so silver chloride decomposes into silver that means gray colored and chlorine when exposed to sunlight so this is the balanced chemical equation why because here photochemical decomposition reactions will takes place so that type of reaction only we have written photochemical decomposition reaction and this is a uh, silver chloride when it exposed to sunlight it becomes silver plus chloride so this is the reaction so easily you will get uh, three marks so your option is there for that question why does the color of copper sulfate solution changes when an iron nail is dipped into it write the balanced chemical equation for this reaction why because iron display uh, displaces copper from copper sulfate solution so the color of copper sulfate solution changes when an iron nail is dipped into it so this is the balanced chemical equation fe plus cu so4 gives to fe so4 plus cu here displacement reactions will takes place so the next one 10th main answer the following question here only one question it carry four marks 26th question the conversion of ethanol to ethanoic acid is an oxidation reaction why because oxidation of ethanol into ethanoic acid involves addition of oxygen and removal of hydrogen so that will be so it becomes oxidation reaction second question what are the structural isomerism write the structural isomerism of butane so structural isomerism means organic compounds having the same molecular formula but different structural formula is called isomerism so here they have given 
n butane and isobutane so n butane means you can write like this so butane means we know that c4 h10 the molecular formula is the c4 h10 so you can write like this also isobutane means it is also having same molecular formula but different structural formula so this is the example so this completes your chemistry part so in the next video i am going to explain biology so thank you for watching this video